Uh, I think wh where we are first, anywhere in the world, anywhere in Uganda, any death is regrettable. Any death is regrettable because you know, human life, once it's gone, it's gone. Uh, so it's regrettable that over many years we've been losing people uh, in the country, in Kasese, and this recent incident. Is, is regret. But going forward, I think at a national level we need to agree that on issues of security and stability, there should be no compromise. On issues of security and stability for any area in Uganda, including Kasese, there should be no compromise. The rule of law must be firmly applied. The NRM is a government that fully respects the rule of law. And we should not allow impunity anywhere in our country. We've allowed the opportunists, particularly in Kasese, to misguide the population. We have now young people radicalized. Radicalization. I don't hear you people in the press talking about radicalization. Those children, for example, in 2014, who went with the spears, with the stones, to attack an army barracks because someone had misled them, had radicalized them had given them wrong ideology, and they thought they could go and attack an army barracks and come away with arms, and nobody's injured. So some, some children have been radicalized by being given false hopes, by being treated with witchcraft. Traditional medicine. <laughs> you see? Uh, this has to stop. Kasese in particular, but Renzori in general. If we go to the books and see what the NRM has done in this country, I've had time to tell my brother Mike Mukula. Kasese has received above average in terms of service delivery in this country. In 1986, I was the only human being who was a doctor in that area, who had been trained as a doctor. 1986, only myself. Today, if you call out <laughs> the people of Cassis, who are doctors, you get very many, including women, girls, who have masters, PhDs. This has not come out of play. It's come out of program. The NRM has used the advantage of gravity to give water to many areas in that area. And I think, again, Kasese is above average in terms of access to safe water. And I could go on adding on. But there are political opportunists who are hanging on the radicalized population, young people. Election after election, they tell people you are neglected. You are marginalized. And then you don't hear anything coming from the mouth as to what the people should do to take them forward. Nothing. They just want to, <laughs> to, to live on the, on the ignorance of the people. Uh, on the so the big job we have now, stop, stop uh, and, uh, and principled compromises, apply the law strictly, draw a no-go line on security and stability, and reconstruct the social mental state of the people. You know, someone to come and tell you, you are going to have a republic, you are going to be a general, you are going to be a minister, you know, even if you, you die, but your brother, <laughs> the, the people are, are, being, are being told. Uh, 
Uh, so we have to remove opportunistic politics from that area, uh, from that area, and consolidate service delivery where we are. And this can be done. What has happened in the last three, four days, I would say, given how things were going, was inevitable. President Museveni has been so patient with the negative elements in our area, so patient. What Ola Mkola has just described is what happened a few months ago. But since 86, we've been in and out of negotiation, to stabilize that area. Since 1986, we've had sleepless nights doing national work and also doing work in the, in the population. But spoilers keep coming, keep coming. Some political actors should take responsibility in that crisis. I hear you were talking about uh, people who were found naked. This is all the problem of radicalization. The witch doctor, that was his advice. Witch doctor, that now that the UPDF is outside, you strip, smear your bodies, you will be immune. The record of, of UPDF is clear. From the bush, through the wars that the UPDF has fought here, including in Kasese, to Somalia, to wherever they have been, you've never had an incident like that. What value would anybody get from that? But that's what people are carrying here, instead of addressing the real problems on the ground. So I, I think, as I've said, the way forward is uh, no compromise on security and stability. We are a poor country. We want to go to a middle income status. We cannot do it through Kimber and Berry. Yeah. We really have to be firm and tough with everybody. The law must be implemented clearly. No one should be allowed even for one minute To, to, to play impunity, <laughs> nothing. Anybody who tells you that Cassis has been marginalized is, is, is uh, one of those opportunists who want to live on the radicalized people. That's all. Teso, I've been telling Gloria Mukula here, he has been to Cassis. Teso is an area which developed much uh, before compared to, to Kasese, but there are many things in Kasese which you can't find with this right now. Electricity deep in the villages, roads up in the mountains, coffee, coffee all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so you press people, you should be asking the right questions. You do not, not just wander around them. And, so that's all I will tell you to do, unless there is something the else. Where the situation is now? The re the, the address the, the negative mental state of people. How will it be done? Oh, the NRM is an expert on that. It will take a whole day to tell you. That will be done, for sure. Why wasn't this done way before? Oh, we've done. <laughs> we've done. When I tell you that there is radicalization, uh, I'm not saying that um, everybody's radicalized. No. I don't know where you've gone in Kasese, but I can tell you without fear of contradiction. If you go to the consistency I've been representing, Okonzo West, and you went to another constituency in terms of mental state, you will find massive. So <laughs> we have where to start. Yes. Uh, people say you should be the problem. Is it true? Uh, if you want uh, to check the record of Kionga, Kionga is associated with the progress wherever it has been. That's for sure. <laughs> Even those who oppose me know that. Honesty and progress.
So my advice to you would be each time you find some say, someone saying Kiyongu is a, a problem, you know that person is a problem. No, there are these opportunities. We just want to live on uh, the ignorance and the poverty of the people. So when there is a Kiyongu who wants to show people lies, then he is a problem to them. He is a problem to negative elements. Not a problem to people who like progress. Yes. No, no.